In this tutorial we're going to teach you how to add a meta box to a custom post type. In this tutorial we're going to teach you how to add a meta box to a custom post type. To do this you definitely need to have access to your server because you will need to change files and ideally you'll be working with child theme. Here you can see we're looking at a custom post type called recipe. If we scroll down a little bit, you can see we've already added some taxonomy details to that and this will allow us to add more if we'd like. What we're going to do now though is to add a meta box to this because that will help us further extend the functionality. So what we need to do is we need to connect our server and go into functions.php into the theme that you're currently using. As mentioned just previously, you should ideally be using a child theme. So what we're going to do is add in a little bit of code here. So what we need to first do is just define the meta box. So what we're first going to do is use add action. So it's just add under slash action. And in there we need to call add meta boxes. And then say what we're actually going to be adding here in terms of the function we'll use, which in this case, we're going to create one called recipe details box so what we need to do now is create that function so function recipe details box and what we first need to use in here is add meta box to save a little bit of time uh, I've already written this code and I will just paste it in because that'll make it a bit easier for us Fundamentally, what you can see is just the name that's going to be, how it's called. Uh, and you can just see here, you can see normal. That means that back in WordPress, the meta box will appear in this general area here alongside uh, WordPress SEO by Yoast, custom fields, author, and so on. If you set that to side, it will appear in the right-hand side along with your publish widget format area and where you define categories. The next step is we need to create some text areas so that when the meta box is generated, we can actually add content to that. So we're going to create another function now and I'm going to call this recipe details box content. And we need to put in the post variable, which is a global variable in WordPress. So it's available everywhere. Most of this is pretty straightforward, this part. What we need to put in first that you've probably never seen before is WP nonce field. A nonce is uh, basically a unique code or a unique hash. And if you've seen our early tutorial with using caching plugins, then this concept won't be too far removed for you. Then we just put in the plugin base name and make sure you define uh, the constant of file and then use ready recipe details box content nonce in there as well. Obviously you need to modify this depending on what you actually call the rest. What we'll do now is just put in those fields. So we need to use PHP's echo function. And you can see here we've got just a label for the recipe details ingredients, the input field there as well. Uh, just a, something to separate it and we'll call this and and then the the time that we should be putting in for this particular recipe. And that's all good and well, but what we need to do now is actually put in some permissions for the meta box. So what we're going to do again is use add action and we're going to use save post and recipe details box save. So this is where we need to actually define the rest of how those are handled. So we need to write a new function and it's a little bit complicated to look at it first, but it should be reasonably straightforward all in all. We've created the new function and we're gonna call on the post ID variable. So it's always loaded up correctly when you're editing a post. And it just basically allows us to be able to save the changes as we go along. We just need to add a few more details just in here. We've just given a variable recipe details ingredients and that's going to be equal to post recipe details ingredients. So anytime it's saved, it's updated in the database. 
and the same applies just for down there as well but obviously you can see the update post meta which is really what does the majority of the work there and with all of those done we save this file jump back into wordpress and refresh the page there you go so just right there in the meta box just immediately below the post we have a field for ingredients and a field for time so what you can do is any of the ingredients you might say beef for instance and you might go you know, one hour, 20 minutes, and we'll just click save. We scroll down into the custom fields area and you can see that these custom fields have been added just there, just as meta content. How you choose to use those though, whether you'd like to display them in the post or not, is up to you from there. But hopefully this provides you with a good example of how simple it is to add a meta box into a custom post type. If you have any questions about this, please feel free to ask in the comments below.